how's everybody doing so what we got here we got us a wiener it's a hot dog wiener and we got a bun hot dog and a bun so what we want to do is we want to make that hot dog launcher that we can aim by lifting up the bun, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even, I can't even say this without laughing. You know, we're gonna lift up the bun. You can aim by lifting up the bun, and then you can launch the dog. There's gonna be a dog launcher. Now, this is a mod that I had made a long time ago, but back then I didn't know anything about much of nothing. So uh, this will be like an update to this mod so I got the mod loaded into uh, the beam editor and I replaced the thrusters with new thrusters the old thruster didn't work doesn't work anymore so this is the one that does work and uh, the hydros here um, we'll have to set those too see we'll use a hydro to lift the bun and then we'll use a thruster to launch the wiener. So we'll go to the node, see what our node names are. And we can use this AL81 and this AL19 here. And uh, AL19 and AL. So we'll put these in a new group so that they're not grouped with anything else. And since I duplicated some uh, nodes that are already in here, what I'll do is put a little letter Z in front of each one. And then that makes makes it easier to uh, makes it easier to um, connect them um, so I'll also duplicate on the bottom this AL you know what yeah AL 36 and AL 64 AL 36 these would be kind of like the feet you know AL sixty-four and I'll put a little letter Z in front of them as well. Uh, Alright now the Z's for the A the top part will lift them up off the ground like an uh, extra meter. And refresh and uh, we lost the mod yeah so what do I got messed up here oh look at that got two of those brackets you can't have two of those like that so we got our wiener back and you see the Z's are up here at the top and the uh, ones at the bottom the ALs 36 and 64 we'll move those along this axis so that's the X I think it's XYZ so the first one's X now the zero where zero is where green and red and blue all come together so if you're gonna put a node at zero then well it would be zero but since this is says 1.38 I'm assuming that if I put 
48 on both of them I'll just make those two come out here just a bit and yeah just a bit see them you can see them there now now what I'll do is go to the beams here and I'll go down to the beam section of the mod these are where the beams start you know there's a lot more beams than there needed to be to make this hot dog now back then I thought you had to have about 5,000 beams to make a bun and make a wiener yeah that was this just a, that's a man that's crazy that was overkill for real uh, <clears throat> What am I doing, dummy? Dummy. All right. So beams add single, and so we'll connect to these these uh, here together. The ones that I, I basically, you know, I, I, I probably can go to a side view. I can if I turn the names off, the node names off. See, all I did is at the bottom of the bun, I duplicated the two nodes that were at the bottom, and, and these two at the top of the buns, I duplicated, and I just moved them up. So this is going to kind of like make a, a stand, you know what I mean? Like a, well, it won't stand up very well now, but it will. So what I'll do is move uh, those out wider. So the first number is X, the second number is Y. And so see one's minus 2.8 and the other is just 2.8. So we know if we add a number to that, put 5.8, 5, 5.2, it'll separate them out that way. Uh, we need a little more than that. We need a wider base. There we go. Now we'll duplicate these two more times we don't want our we don't want our bun falling our, our bun falling so since these have the same names I'll just put another letter Z and then I'll put two more Z's on that one <laughs> yeah and so <clears throat> this one will go up a bit That's too much. Go back a bit. That's better. And then these will go, the duplicates will go back there. So that'll be like uh, 0 0.4. All right. Now we'll go back to our beam thing where we got to add single. And we'll put our, we'll go down to the beam section where we were just making beams a minute ago. And we will continue connecting these all together. Just remember, put your cursor there. If you don't, it's going to throw all that stuff up at the top, at the very top. And I'll put some cross beams to make sure that it's sturdy. then we'll connect these up here like that and then connect these like that and then now you don't have to worry about the beams having collisions because there's no triangles and also self collisions turned off I believe so now we got our stand we probably should make the stand somewhat heavy or heavier than the hot dog anyway so we'll change the node weight on the stand and make it heavier so we'll go to the nodes here for the stand and they'll get their own special weight just put, that would probably be a good number and now the springs for those oh man that's some weak beams there oh and I got pre-compression on too apparently well, anyway, 
we're going to copy these beams to your beam information because we're going to reuse this for our supports. I'm surprised that bun and the hot dog stayed together. It had some weak springs. Dang. All right, now we can just connect the we'll connect that node to that node and that node to this one to that well you know what I mean one underneath to the one you know below it uh, but not with a beam with the hydro and the way you'll do that is you got to get the net name show node names so that Z A L 19 will be the first number in the hydro and the second will be the other number and between the two numbers that'll be what pulls the thing and pushes it apart so there's two brackets here I mean two two quote quotation marks so a Z A L 1 9 the one on this side ZAL81. So I have two hydros, so it'd be even. And the one ZAL will connect to looks like AL81. And then the one on the other one that's connected to uh, will be AL19. And these things have beam springs also. And all right, now when I refresh this, you see these red beams; those are hydros. The, so the factor is the amount. So factor one would be one times the original length, right? Factor two would be two times the original length and that's just the amount that it can the max it can expand or contract to right and so this is controlled with the steering so if you can steer left or steer right whichever one it does one will contract and one will expand but a maximum of two and we'll probably mess with that then you got the in rate and out rate um, the higher that number, the faster it'll like, you know, it'll uh, move. Like a, a 0 0.01 would like be really, really, really slow. Uh, let's see. Now let's go to the wiener. The wiener is going to have thrusters. And so looking at the wiener, looking at the looking at one end of the wiener got a node of BL4 so we'll go down to the thrusters now to remove some of this because these are for this is from the other mod but just like the hydros thrusters have two nodes also that is used for input so we can uh... man we got so this is currently set up for brake and this one's set up for throttle. So and you can also have clutch and you can also have steering. Uh clutch, steering, brake, gas can all be set as thrusters, I believe. And then probably is a few other inputs that can be used. I don't know what the other ones are. I'd like to know. You can do some cool things with thrusters. You can do some cool things with a wiener and some thrust, that's for sure. We're going to see this wiener take off. <laughs> so BL4 will be our first first node. And uh, what's behind that? Because when you 
when you're talking about a thruster, the first number is, well, if you think of a thruster as a rocket ship, if this is the rock, if the wiener is a rocket ship and the people are sitting at the end of the rocket ship, the fire comes out the other end, well, that's how the thruster is. They say one end and the other end is where the thrust comes out. So the first, the first BL4 here will go and say, well, that'll be the first one and then what connects to that BL4 is hard to damn follow. It looks like BR8. And that'll be where the fire comes out. And then that's the amount of thrust and the maximum. Uh, one's the limit and one is the speed at which it, it increases to that limit. Uh, so I'll just leave these. I'll just put them at 10,000. Just 10,000 for now. And uh, we'll see. We might have to adjust. We'll probably have to adjust that. All right, so that'll be that. Now, um, so what's on the other side? That is BL44. And that on the other end of that wiener there is, uh, let's see, BL44. Probably easier just to do it like that. Just follow it down. Uh, well, it looks like BR48. Now, let's save it and let's update in the game with Control R. I don't, I don't think I have any. I don't know. Um, yeah, see, here's my, here's a little contraption that I made. So you can see. If I turn on the types of beams, blue show hydros. You can see how this little thing here is kind of situated. So if I turn on my controller and I steer left or right, it'll lift the wiener. And if I press the gas, it launches the wiener. So you can you can aim. And launch. Oh, don't don't steer it the wrong way. All right, because like I said, one one way of a hydro contracts and the other expands. So, uh, you know, you can have it expand the wrong way. Now I don't know if that's going to do any damage to a car, but we can we can try it and see. Yeah, when I when I got this mod made i didn't really put much time into any textures or anything i believe this thing was like a i know it was a free download i didn't actually model the weenie or the bun i, I think i downloaded it that's so long ago but yeah it, it probably could be made a lot better now what kind of car do we want to hit uh, let's see well How about this SUV here? <laughs> 